Hello, I, I hope, we, are, are we live? Are, is, yes. is everything good? Yeah. Okay, good, perfect. <laughs> I all, Hi guys. I clicked all the things. We, uh, <laughs> we're here with, what is this, episode 10, 10? I think. Not, I think it's 10? 10? I think it's it was, 10. I think yeah. it's 9 last time. Yeah, 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 I think it's episode 10 of The Sunless Citadel, brought to you by these, um, uh, these, these wild, these, these wild cards. You know, we, we, you guys have to come up with a, with a name for your adventuring crew. Have you thought of that yet? <laughs> no. You you probably should. You probably should. This is uh, cannon for, for fodder those of you that are that are watching at home. This is a, a Pathfinder experience ran in the world. Uh, I believe it's it's not Galarian. Uh, maybe TSR. I'll figure it out later. It's a fifth edition experience, or at least it was originally a third edition experience. They remade it in Tales of the Yawning Portal, and I'm using the Pathfinder rules. Pretty simple stuff. It's basically third edition adjacent. Um, and it's here to um, to really kind of educate them and bring them into the fold of tabletop gaming. Cobalt's not exactly new to this. Shale has some experience, but the three others, um, they have all of their experience under me, which feels kind of cool. I feel very privileged. I just hope that I don't scare them off. I don't think I've done that as of yet. So let's talk about what happened last time. Can we do that? Sure. Catch me up. Ah, uh, okay, so... We finally we, killed the goblins that shot me. Yeah, we went for the goblins <laughs> last time. That was, I mean, we didn't do a ton last game, I feel like. We we, we had the... Uh... We argued about what to do with Meepo. Yeah. Then we found the weird room with the knocking where you found the gems. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, we did do quite a bit. And... My mom wild magic that shit trying to figure out what it was into and another she, yeah. universe. Yep. She, the the water yeah. elementals in there were destroyed. They we, they were we imagine they are oh, water maybe. elementals that were made to like give the place water. Because uh, maybe they were destroyed. Water. Maybe Tortured. they were destroyed. They might exist in another universe now. Yeah, maybe. Uh, what else? Then then like Retsu yelled at everybody to like do his plan. Um, when it, cause we wandered around and figured out the only way forward was basically through the room with cow oh trops God. covered in shit with goblin archers there. And while we were getting ready to charge in there, we were talking shit to the goblins through the doorway. One of them took a pot shot at my mom who, <laughs> who was just within view and kind of set off combat. And then when that happened, Retsu just ran in and jumped 25 feet across the pit. Or not not the pit, but all the cow traps. He jumped 25 feet from a standing jump. Uh, mm -hmm. Past a spike trap that went off. Narrowly dodged that. Landed right between both of the goblins. One of them was slept. And one of them wasn't. So he wasn't flanked initially. But then the other goblin woke up. And then yeah. I got flanked. And then we managed to get the rest of the group kind of across and kill the goblins so we had some really good rolls yeah the goblins we, did too to make that happen we had some really great great rolls that let's, i almost let's, died let's talk yeah let's talk about that died. for a second <laughs> <laughs> what happened to snacks i got basically i was drowning in my own blood yeah is is what was happening there and i needed to roll a nat 20 that was the only way out of that situation and luckily, I rolled a nat 20. And so, saved my life there. That was... Yup. Dice were on my side. <laughs> that was, yep. <laughs> In that moment, yeah. I'm inclined to agree. What about... Saki? <clears throat> <laughs> Saki's seen... Days. Some better, some worse. How is Saki looking and feeling right now? Gotten being up so much. I mean, wasn't she taking care of Snack? Mm -hmm. At the end yes. of the last. You were helping me out a lot at the end there. Pulled the arrow out with a perfect heal roll. Didn't take any extra damage from it. Yeah, it was some, it was some dude haunting you. And you're being haunted. <laughs> Who, who's haunting you right now? Caracas, the mm. elven elven archer. 
who was part of the party that we're kind of looking for. Mm -hmm. What's his deal? Uh, What's his deal? <laughs> yeah, go for it, Saki. I'm the only He's one, the one that that's can talking see him. to you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm the only one that can see him and interact with him. He's haunting her because of wild that's magic. True. Is he is he thrilled about this experience? No, he was really disappointed that he wasn't alive anymore. Yeah, that sucks. You know, when you when you <laughs> discover that you're to realize. you're no longer of the mortal coil. Yeah, that's a that's a, a rough experience to come back to. He also he can't run away. <laughs> At first, he was thrilled, right? He was he was thrilled. He, there was a, a pretty lady in front of him, albeit she was covered yeah. in vomit and feces. Um, that's right. You know, diamond in the rough sort of situation. And then you're like, you're dead, dog. And he was like, <laughs> no. Oh, God, I am. Didn't go well for him. Didn't go well. Uh, yeah. But he's thriving. He's thriving. Is he useful? He, oh, that's yeah. He was. He, he, yes, he was. He, we when he wants to be. To go down. Well, we commanded him to go down the hallway and kind of commanded check it out for him. us. He said, "Did we command the him to us?" <laughs> and then we happily let him do it. Well, maybe he said something, but he went. He did say something. That was kind of a gimme. <laughs> the truth he said, is, "You're not going to want to go is, in there." This is all above table, because in actual play, you guys think she's crazy. That's yes. true. We don't know. We, yeah, we have true. no fucking clue. But she had but yeah, mentioned was... something a while ago about him when he first like popped up. Like when he first got there, she had said something about being able to see him. But yeah. since then, she's kind of hidden it, like not wanting to tell us yeah. or not like we're like, what are you doing? And she's like, oh, nothing. Like she's kind of just playing it off like he's not there so well i mean you guys aren't exactly quiet in the fact that you're like yeah saki's talking she's talking to someone saki's a little crazy you know you're you're not, not, not the only she's, she's in been the group. through a lot so why wouldn't she be going a little crazy and stuff? we got two people talking to themselves does anybody believe in saki does anybody believe that she's being haunted I'm sure I do. I'm sure I, mean, I believe it. I don't it. know. I don't know shit. Yeah, I definitely believe it. Okay. But I, I'm, I'm disappointed that I can't experience it as well. <laughs> but I'm gonna see what I can do to be able to get in on that. I don't care if she's haunted, but if she is, I'm pissed because when you kill things, they're supposed to die. I am in the same boat. I, I, I would not really stop to question if she is or isn't. It would just add to the spookiness column which already for those two is very high for shield sure just <clears throat> another point in that ookie column i think it's hilarious that seraphina is is experiencing fomo on a ghost and that's exactly um, that's that's pretty great um who knows you know afforded the opportunity who knows what you could see witches are capable of doing quite a few things so we shall see shall was there see. anything else of note Anything else no, that, that's worth mentioning? That door Maybe. has some noises happening coming through it. Still so toting around a bunch of baby rats as and well. And we got baby rats. I need and to feed... Meepo. <clears throat> and poor Meepo. You yeah. know, at some point you told me my my rat had a lightning bolt on it. Was Is that just false? Okay, um, it's because you wanted the cool one, That's and nice. you asked if it had a lightning bolt, and I was like, yeah, I guess, it's got a lightning bolt, of course it I does. mean, are you gonna hold true to hey, that? Sure. <laughs> Do you really want your rat to have, it's fine, fine, it's got a lightning bolt, it's, it's the... Perfect. The Harry Potter of dire yeah. rats. No, I got it's a name Vol no. It's marked by Voldemort, Voldemort. <laughs> uh, no. It's cool. That's not cool. <laughs> what did you say you were going to name it? I think you said you came into my Flash. stream and you were like, the f yeah, I was like, you named it something like Flash or Laser or something like that. <laughs> laser. God, do the laser. Laser. Can we do Laser? Sounds like a, an American Gladiator. Yeah. No, dude, my, my little pet rat is, with, the, with the lightning bolt is named the Flash. Of course. Yeah, you got the cool one. I, I mean, we don't. Depending on how you care for it, it it's going to be really funny when you realize that like its legs are busted and it can't actually move very Aww. quickly. I mean, it at this point that thing is here for me to eat until Farming. until 
it is useful. I'm right now. I'm fattening it up. I'll feed it the rat milk and stuff because right now it's just a little morsel. I'm gonna be real with you for a minute. That's fucked up, man. That you took an a baby creature, you named it, and then you said I'm gonna eat you if I get hungry. Like that's the transparent. It's not even. You know what? Live your best life. That's, that's how you keep it fresh in a yeah, dungeon. I, yeah, that's how you keep it fresh in in the column that is internal pain okay emotional damage when you name your food before you eat it before hey. it even dies <laughs> it's, a, it's a little rough but hey what do i know it is it's what a it long is. long con for flavor right i, I guess torment free <laughs> i feel like i'm gonna gain a special ability if i eat it with that lightning bolt on it <laughs> yeah it's called depression <laughs> that's your special ability you gain depression you All ate right. your pet <laughs> Sounds infectious. Rats are really smart, so. Rats are incredibly intelligent, yeah. <clears throat> Who knows? That you, you could train them. It could be very useful. Exactly. But that being said, there are multiple rats. Meepo is messed up. You guys have seen better days between being haunted and discovering that one of your comrades is talking to a felted creature. It's weird. To say the least, it is weird. And you're right. You've just overcome an immense hurdle. Find yourself in a brief, a brief respite before there is something happening to that door. For those of you at home, thank you so much for making sure that my players get luck rerolls. I am under the knowledge now that they have five. Anything after this means wild magic. I'm not even gonna pull up the chart until you guys make it happen. So if you want wild magic, Cobalt, how did Nine they do more that? subs. Nine more subs. And then it's ten there and after. For every ten, it's it equals Yeah, fuck it. Roll the dice. Okay. You can well, help you us or hinder us. You don't know. Yeah. Could be good. Could be bad. That being said, let's pick up where we've left off. That brief respite. That momentary pause. As you gather yourselves, you've pushed across the Caltrop ridden hallway. It was a tough moment. It seemed like it lasted forever, but it was really 25, 30 seconds. But it was so fast. <laughs> uh -oh. And as you gathered your wits, there was something heard on the opposite side of the next door. What do you do? I ready my weapons. I'm backing up, baby. I'm getting away from that door. I'm gonna switch to the great axe. And uh, just hold my position for now. The hell was that noise? I don't like it. I'd wager more goblins. I'm gonna I really hope hide that. in the corner and stealth. Okay. This, uh, I mean, <laughs> seems like a good roll. That's a pretty good roll. That's a pretty strong roll. Yeah. You tuck into the corner. Get you ready yourselves for something to come through that door. Can I get perception checks, please, from everyone? Yes. Wow, that's some of our. First Mediocre roll. rolls. And nobody will hear. How long will you hold? How long will you maintain ready weapons and stance prepared to attack anything that comes through? Hide him. Give me a stealth. I'm calling there. And I'm not going to move. Over. Mediocre oh, rolls out of the way here. I forgot I don't have no trace yet. Never mind. Shit. If it's true. Sleep. At the end of last session, you guys were given a level up, but that level doesn't count until you get a full sleep. That means that whoever maintains watch will not get the bonuses of their level up unless all of you rest. So, moments pass. 
Five seconds, ten seconds, thirty seconds. All right, I'm moving up. Fuck, I'm moving up. I'm opening this goddamn door. I'm gonna check the door first. <laughs> sure. Somebody's got Tra to. Like, do the uh, yeah. Somebody's got to do it. Um, what is it to roll for check trap? It's a it's a perception check. I'll, I'll take that. Yeah. You feeling confident? Yes. Okay. Even though you, when you say that, it's never a good oh, thing. No. But yes, I'm feeling I'm confident. I'm scared. <laughs> the door is not trapped. You glance at every corner, every turn, the arch itself. You're looking for any kind of wire, any pedal slip, something that would immediately seem like a trap. There are no levers. No mechanisms. You're confident that that is not trapped. All right, the door seems good. Do you, what do you guys? Do you want me to open this thing, or what do you? What, I mean, somebody just made a bunch of noise on the other side of this thing. What do, What do you want me to do? Do you want me to trap it, and or what are we thinking here? Snacks turns around and in his as boisterous as a cobalt can be. If there's any stealth presence, it was lost. We just killed a bunch of goblins here. Not much stealth to be had. True. I don't know. Does anybody have any suggestions on what to do I here? I camouflage myself with hay. We definitely need to find a place Lock that's safe to door rest. And rest. Yeah. Yeah, because we we all we all need. I rest see some too. barrels over there in the corner. We could. If those we ain't resting in this here. room, if this room is so well defended, chances are the next one might be just as bad. So, yeah. I mean, we have you a fireplace wanna... here. And wood. We have a fireplace? You're standing on it. Oh, is that a fire? Get your ass out of the fire. Is that a fire? It's a pit. Oh. Okay. <laughs> now, admittedly, this room is not very big. It is a 15 by 15. It reeks of death. You have two goblinoid bodies dead at your feet. I'm not sleeping uh, they are here. bleeding. And we and, could just okay. backtrack to... What do you I suggest then, Retsu? Where should we go? I'm done taking point. That's not what my job is supposed to be anyway. I'm supposed to kill things sneakily. How about everybody else? Where do we want to Where do we want to rest? I'd rather not walk over all those cow exhausted. traps again, just in That's case I That's why I said we should or... rest here. Block the but door with these like barrels. smells like shit in here. Oh, come I mean, on. Everything a, in this dungeon smells like every type of shit. There's a path carved already through the cow troughs. That's not going to be a major issue. I say if we're going to rest, we backtrack. I say we open yeah, the door. We, we should probably, yeah, or bar it if we're not going to barricade right, well, it somehow. Leave, we're I'm going to rip off one of them, uh, them goblin legs and take it with me and eat it. Gross. Just... Alright, so we're going to let Shell take point. We'll, we'll follow you. All right. If this is the plan, then all right. Rub it in. Chill starts leading in the backtrack. You continue to move. <laughs> leading back to some of the rear rooms. How far back will you go? I'm going to stop here because someone did say something about wanting to bar one of the doors. So once they start getting into this room and we're a little further away, I'll bring that up again. So do we want to try to create any barricades as we go, or where the fuck we just want to get away? First of all, where's Retsu? Okay. Uh, we're all together. A no, stealth? we're not. Give me a stealth. I did. 25 is huge. What lost? would you like to do with that? I'm concealing myself in here so that nobody can find me. Describe it. I'm going to use the natural en environments, the, the barrels, and I'm already dirty. I'm going to just try to blend myself in and just remain as still as possible so I can, like, just be in this area without anyone knowing I'm there. Okay. Including my, you, my party. 
you realize that there's not really much to disguise yourself here. There's not enough to really provide you a. a can I get in a barrel? You can. You can, in fact. You, okay. uh, you, you start to kind of shift them around to test the weight, and two of them are somewhat full, but the third seems to be mostly empty. Uh, it is some foul brew. You're not really sure what it is, but it's probably like a one to two standing inches of this this dark and thick liquid in in the uh, the reservoir of the barrel itself because it's been tilted on its side. Plenty of room for you to kind of tuck your body inside. Okay. I'll do that. Well, fuck them. Let's go. Retsu is not there. Do you just abandon him? Hey, hell yeah, I ain't going back for his ass. Snacks is muttering under his breath. He's not going to go back. Saki, Serafina, your thoughts? I'm going through the door. I'm going to let the big guy with the shield and the big sword take point. The, the, uh, the oh, yeah. I'm, I'm not just walking around my great axe out anymore. I, don't like, I, I, I put that away. The veritable ah. armory that is Shale. He switches out from one weapon to another uh, with ease. He has experience with quite an array of murderous tools. How about you, Saki? Knowing full well that Retsu did not arrive with you, are you just going to full-on abandon him as well? Saki feels obliged to say something because she's concerned and worried maybe something bad could happen or did happen to him, but at the same time, she knows he's very strong and capable and independent, so she's going to knowingly let him do his own thing. This asshole's probably doing. invisible somewhere following us. Yeah, he's got all kinds of weird shadow tricks. I don't know what he can do. Following okay. shield. Are we just... Where are we I going? Point, are we going I back to the south. room that we were in before? So I point south and I say, um, this is the safest of the directions, right? How far do we want to go back? Do we want to go back to the room with the fire or back to the room with the coffins? I think both. I think we've rested in both of those rooms. I like the coffins because I can just sleep in the coffin. And it's closer. I, okay. I'm following. Yep. You got it. We know that the door is okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, who's getting a little? <clears throat> is, is Meepo able to make his way, or do I need to carry him? He's on the edge. He's attached to me. Oh, he is still attached to you. Okay. Yep. In fact, he's, he's Shale, in I'm going to give you additional control so now you can drag him as well. There you go. You should be able to move him along with your own token. Oh, I bet he's real tiny, isn't he? Uh, I mean, he's not, I got he's, he's not as big I got as you him. are. I think I got him. Are you guys tired? Yes, we are exhausted. For sure. Could use to freshen up a little bit as well. So, try as you might. You guys had a rest not more than two hours ago. Oh. Oh, shoot. Son of a bitch, I can't fall asleep. Yeah, that's coming back to me now. Where's my melatonin? Hadn't been invented for a long time. <laughs> At least a good melatonin. thousand years. I just sit cross-legged on the floor and kind of sling Meepo around to the front and start kind of checking on him. Kind of just, I'm no doctor, but just pushing on spots of him, seeing if I get, like, very gently, but seeing if I get any response, just seeing what I can tell about his condition. I mean, not much has changed. You guys did check him just before the, like, the, the big combat. Um, you wanted to see what his situation was like, and, well, he, he, he hasn't really changed much. You know that he's going to need a night, two nights, before he immediately comes back around. But you can see that Meepo is sweating. Maybe it's the swaddle that you've created. Perhaps it is, hmm, perhaps it is the the nature of of, of quickly moving, right? Of quickly moving through the the, the combat state. 
but he's sweating. Yeah, I definitely unswaddle him a bit. Just give him some time to rest motionless after all of that. Okay. Seraphine, are you doing anything? Or are you just using this to sort of like take a temporary reprieve as well? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to actually, I'm, I'm got a little bit of sputum and vomit and some things. So I'm going to take out some water and a rag and I'm going to start clean? cleaning up sure. a little bit I while gotcha. we just, while everybody decides what's going on. We're do, taking care of some personal hygiene. I gotcha. Yeah. Makes sense. Cool. I dig it. Anything from Saki? I'm or is just going to try same situation? And, um, yeah, same thing. I'm just, just going to try and Take an opportunity to sort of relax. Okay. Yep. At um, least and I'm assuming three. that Snacks is doing the same thing. You just said you wanted to bring out your rat, right? Yeah. I want to feed my my rat baby with my okay. milk. Sure. Uh, it's not going to be incredibly hard, but you guys are going to be sitting here for a while. You're not going to be able to fall asleep no matter how hard you try. <clears throat> Cam returns. Cobalt. I'm just waiting for these idiots to come back. <laughs> I, I know, right? That's why I was thinking we, we spent all this time coming back here only to realize we're unable to rest at this point. I'm sitting cross-legged in the barrel, holding myself above the water okay. by the knees with my arms crossed over my chest. Does sure. anyone know where Retsu is? Should we, should we go back and look for Retsu? I do think we have no option but to go back, but I do think it was a good idea that we regrouped a little bit, but yeah, I would start standing up and redoing um, Meepo a little bit. If he's still pretty sure. warm and sweaty, though, I wouldn't fully swaddle him. I would kind of just keep carrying him for a bit. I got you. Sounds good. Seems as good as, as it's going to get right now. Um, it doesn't take a lot for you to realize that Meepo is sick. Uh, you're not really sure with what, but you can safely assume that it's something akin to what um, Saki has, at least under these these situations. So, you move. They, snacks, they don't seem to wait around. They, they're they there for a little bit and they just kind of get bored. Uh, there, there's that, that lingering moment where there's like, we, we can't sleep. We can't really do anything at all. And Retsu never returns. All right. Well, now Thanks I'm getting to... a little worried about Retsu. So yeah, I, I don't. Right. He, he, I don't think he can. I don't think he can stay invisible forever. But he no. should. So he should have been here. But he's. But he's not. Um, I have confidence in him to take care of himself. But it's not wise for us to stay apart. So, yeah. Let's. Uh... Can I eat my goblin leg? I mean, I guess you can. It's. It's not great. Right. Like it's 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 raw. It's raw meat. You really do take a lot of liberties in finding the potentially most disgusting thing that you can ingest, and you just you just you go in. I, you know what? Yeah, this is this is fine. This can't possibly come back to bite you. Listen, kobolds will eat anything but gnomes. Wow. All right, Saki. That's we're going specific. They've decided hey, it's a we, good time to go look for Red All right. Get your ass out here. Let's go. I love that Snacks is 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 just devils. <laughs> <laughs> he just he just runs around the dungeon yelling the whole time. Just, yeah, the whole time. Like, like this is the the, the, well, the, 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 the him. Little tiny I think there's bad things like behind the door. <laughs> Somebody, yeah, somebody's yeah. got to do it. I can't, well, we wanted really to now. recover our energy, so we spent a bunch of energy <laughs> walking so we can recover no energy. Yeah. Yeah. Next Here time they I'm come. Have some, like, big, bolsterous bucket character. Oops. Sorry, I didn't mean to close the door on your face. I mean, you're already a small, boisterous oh. character. I, yeah, but I'm not supposed to be. All right, Retsu, where are you? Where the hell is Shiel? He's just take, he's taking a breather apparently in the in the back. He'll catch up. He'll catch up. I so thought I was ahead for so long. <laughs> Cobalt, 
Are you guys already as, back? Okay. As Retsu is is maintaining his posture, poise, and pose in this same barrel that he's maintained perfect stillness and hidden to to a legendary degree. Like clockwork. Maybe 15, 20 minutes later. You can hear them coming. Part of you realizes that it could be someone or something else, and then you hear snacks. His cacophonous roars of his voice ringing out across the stone dungeon. Do you just shake your head in the barrel? I'm gonna pop my head up out of the barrel and be like, are you guys done fucking off now? <laughs> <laughs> the barrel lid springs, and there's Retsu's face. The hell, you smell worse than I do. That's impossible. I was ready to go through this door. Y'all were ready to take a nap, even though we just took a fucking nap. Okay? <laughs> we can't, we're not going to sleep our way through here. We're going to die if we don't keep making progress. Don't pretend that doesn't sound good. <laughs> anyway, I'm like I said, I'm done taking point. It's not my job. Well, somebody's got to open this door. I've already checked it for traps. Sheila, you want to check it? You want to open it? No. <laughs> okay. Well, Serafina is over. I got a bitch. Oh, ah, never mind. You took over. Do you kick open the door and yell like that? <laughs> no, I just opened the door. <sighs> oh man. I, oh, I, love I it. wish I wasn't standing behind. My you head's right just now. like I'm gonna back on. <laughs> <laughs> gonna take out the morning star and shield again. Not go for the great axe. All right. Well, doors open. I will go. I will go in with you though, if you're going in. But taking okay. point scouting, not my strong suit. Gonna make the witch All right. do it. Well, I, I guess the little tiny kobold with little to no HP is just gonna run in and. Take point, I guess. There's no scouting when we have a linear path. Serafina or Shield, one of you guys get up there. You are so strong. I'm here. Get in there. Also, I, I somehow I attached can... Mios or uh, Meepo to. Like, don't I can't. The fish to you. I, I actually can't <laughs> move in certain directions now because he's like. Alright, I'm going to wait for the party right here because I don't know what's Perfect. around this corner. I'm behind you. Oh my god. Okay. It's kind of a Finally. tight corridor. It looks. Y'all are doing great. Are you moving carefully? We're moving yes, so carefully. I am very, very so careful. Quietly. I know Nobody's no other talking way. Talking to each other, right? Guys? Yeah, I'm not saying anything. I'm being very quiet. Like, I'm, I'm, I will take right up behind you, but. Okay. Are we trying to be quiet then? Are we all people. trying to be quiet? Yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna be quiet. We're all trying to be quiet. I'm gonna look around this corner. What the fuck is that? You glance around the corner and you find something interesting. They appear to be um, weaved bits of, of like linen fiber from your immediate glance. Okay, okay, Retsu. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I just want that was just so the chat could see. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, I, you, it's not, you I'm not. I'm my character's back here, but I wanted them to see what you were talking about. Yeah, it's uh, it's weave fiber, and these they look to be bipedal. It looks like a shooting gallery. Oh, fuck. you see that there are three of them, bipedal, mostly mostly humanoid shaped. How tall are they? Probably five or so feet. You see a weave and loom of both linen and of straw falling out of them, but their bodies have been peppered with dozens, I repeat, dozens of crossbow bolts. Okay. Quietly pushing on Saki, who's pushing it into everybody else. Come I'm gonna on. just whisper to Shield and say, like, "Hey, it looks <laughs> like, it looks like, something has been shooting some straw, people-looking things over. There's three of them. 
Uh, I'm really. Well, I would I would turn around to the rest of them like pantomime, like a crossbow or a bow, <laughs> the best I can for the rest of them. I mean, there's nowhere else to go. Give me a stealth from everyone. Stealth, okay. I like that. I you guys stealth. are trying to move quietly. Oh, nope. that's not a good stealth there. <laughs> I'll take my stealth though. Oh. My word. Okay. It's a good the average. Retsu with a 14. Ish. Seraphina with a 9. Shale with a 6. Snacks with a 26. Saki with an 18. Okay. Snacks, you start to slide. You push your body to the wall and you're looking for any kind of sight, anything that can grant you view. Dozens of blunted and broken arrows lie on the cracked cobblestone floor. Few of them protrude from three crudely sewn human-sized targets hung along the center of your south wall. From where you're at, you can't see much else. You think that you see a door on the west wall. I see a door over there. I can't see anything else, but I do. I, I feel like I see a door. It might not be, but it's very reminiscent of a door. Can you hear anything? I can't hear shit. Give me a I perception. I don't hear anybody Snacks. shooting. Alright. You actually, you might be able to. Very, very likely. Ooh, Man, you, nice. are ro you are rolling high tonight. <clears throat> you can hear a few things. Okay. You hear breathing, anticipatory breathing. Oh, for Christ's sakes. You also hear the sound of a fire flickering in the rear side of the room. There's only further and it induces that feeling when you realize that the shadows are whipping as well. So it may be multiple fire sources or maybe something's moving in front of the flame. You can't identify how many there are, but you can at least hear one nervously breathing. Okay. I look at so. snacks and I whisper, I say go time. There's definitely someone there. There's there's at least a fire I can see. And I, I feel like I hear some breathing, maybe. Is that feel rat, like rat breathing or goblin breathing? I feel like I wouldn't be able to hear rat breathing. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe gnar snarling or... No, it's not, it's, not, it's not... It's not... Oh, Whatever it is, it probably knows we're coming, so... I don't want to be the first one around this corner and get no, shot in the I'll, face. So, I'll go ahead when we're ready. <laughs> okay. I'll so, be behind I'll you. At least I can take clear one step in front of stacks. Hopefully. With the weapons drawn. I got a shit eating grin on my face. <laughs> under my mask. I'm excited. I'm like, yeah, they're going to go in first this time. <laughs> Okay. Chill. I mean, I want from you guys, since you're choosing some sort of plan here, I'm going to go ahead and get your initiatives now. Okay. Okay. So click on your tokens. Oh, that's right. Yes. <laughs> I almost didn't do that first. Thank you. And then click initiative. Intelligence, 
Oh, that music. I'm tempted Dude. to use a reroll for that, <laughs> but I could do much worse. Last okay. night, Devils is like, Bubs isn't going to give us another oh, fight no. right after we get Better through one of the most difficult there, hallways. Can I reroll re my... You got five. Season. Baby, you got five rerolls. Use them as, as liberally as you like to. You guys are in a dungeon crawl. This is the quintessential, the quintessential D and D experience. This is going to be fight after fight after fight. So, I'm gonna go ahead and roll my initiative. Goblins are quick. Would you believe it? Not want to roll a three though. So, my friends, let's see. In descending order. Um, who has the higher dexterity, Shale or Saki? I am at, uh, 14. I'm at 9. Okay, that's <laughs> perfect. I've got a modifier. And Look at that. Them for whatever. Okay, okay. Serafina. Yes. You are first in initiative. You can hold if you want to rely on Shale to charge first into combat. I, I'm ready to rock. I'm, oh, I'm, okay. I'm, we ain't walking yeah. around. No, uh, so I need, <laughs> I'm going to. Do you run in? Into, I'm going to run in and I'm going to throw burning hands and I, it could be friend or foe or I don't know. They're going down. Okay. <laughs> Probably not um, many friends down here are good. Down all right, here. my friend. Well, this is, this is where, this is where the bad occurs because because you guys were very loud. Um, they had a lot of time, ample time to prepare for you to pass through. So despite me rolling a seven, they had held actions in surprise round. With you charging in and them not seeing shield, they're gonna try to shoot you a lot. So what is your armor class? Thunder Thunder it's AC. Thunder Charisma. 13. Thir 13, okay. One. Oh my god. Roll oh no. Oh my god. Oh no. Uh, no. Two. But I'm gonna burn them up before they touch me. Three. No, no, you're no. Not. It's not. Oh my god. Oh no. Roll to confirm. Does not confirm, definitely hits. Well. My first Enjoy Aki. the pain train that is coming towards you. Yeah, this, this took a hit. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a little rough. Okay, uh, I'm shuffling the critical hit deck. I need you to tell me when to stop. Stop. Okay. All right. I like Remind it. This is piercing style damage. Ooh. Okay. Don't woo me. That's pretty <laughs> sick, though. I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled. Oh, okay. I'm thrilled. I don't, I don't know, know if that's good. That doesn't mean it's good for you or for yeah. us. Uh, it's thrilling for me. So yeah, we're gonna do the last attack you're first. You're trying to kill us, right? Well, I mean, I did run in. Six seconds. Yeah, you're attack. killing yourself with that shit. Seven, eight, and the crit, the crit attack. It's five, but the effect on it is it's lodged in the bone. You take double damage and two bleed. The bleed requires a DC twenty heal check to stop. So you take 10, 12, 18 points of damage. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> You're not dead. <laughs> I'm dead. You're not. What is what is what is your number at? Seventeen. Okay, that puts you at minus one. You're not technically dead. I mean, until that's you reach... pretty dead. There's, no, this, not is, yet. this is where the mechanics come in. Okay. So when you reach negative your constitution, what is your constitution? Read that number for me. 16. When you reach minus 16, that's when you're dead. That's okay. when you're dead. Problematic. You are unconscious and you're losing two hit points a turn until someone helps you. So you are in a rough way. Um, can I get my ability off at least? You can, if you succeed on a concentration check of 28. Oh, fuck. Okay, so I roll. <laughs> yep. Five's not gonna do it. No, 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 concentration, not constitution. Oh. oh. But <laughs> what is your max constitution roll, though? Wait, wait. Or concentration roll? Where is it? Where is your concentration is on yours. It should be in, here in spells. 
Oh. Oh, there it is. You cannot make this. Yeah, impossible. Yeah. You cannot make it. So you charge in and you prepare to cast the spell and the moment that you charge in to turn, you feel three crossbow bolts pierce your body in multiple spots. You immediately see the light in your eyes begin to fade. Everything goes hazy and you fall. You do not even get your action. Every turn until you stabilize, you will lose one hit point in addition to the two bleed. It's a rough way to go, but it's still still savable. Damn it. I would yell Damn. back, the witch is down. I'm sure, I think Snacks can probably see that too, but I don't think the other two can. What the fuck was she doing? Uh, you know, you're about to find out. Retsu, you're up. I pass. Pass, got it. I'm waiting my turn Snacks. in the thin hallway. I mean, it, uh, question, they can't attack me now though, is that correct? Because they've already used their attacks this turn? I mean, theoretically, yeah. You don't really know, because you, you can't see the rest of the way into the room. So if I hold action and wait for shield to do, like, walk into the room, will I then get an attack action after that or not? If you walk in the room, you'll still get a standard action, and you can make an attack. But you don't really know if I hold, If I hold my attack now. Yeah. If, if you... <clears throat> if you make a move, you can't also hold an attack to use later. No, but if I hold my action now, I, then can I use an attack? Yeah. But I don't know what you're waiting on. You have to tell me what you're waiting on. Well, I'm, wait, I'm, I'm trying to wait for shield to... Then you're just you're just you're just holding you're holding action. That's yeah. fine. Chill. You just witnessed your your one of your spellcasters charge in, and in more or less terms get murdered. So what I'm gonna try to do is I want to rush them, and I know I can't see where they are, so I want to take the one step in and then as quickly as I can, just bridge the distance to the closest one. Okay. Um. Oh, now you can fuck. see the room. <laughs> From where you stand, you just took a five. You have 15 feet, and then there's another three and a half foot crenellated wall. You can make the leap. I'm going to have to. Yeah. So, and then this looks like probably the closest one. Give me an acrobatics. Oh, I just put points into that. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> La. Nope. All right. Uh, do you want to mark one? Yes, I do. Let's take okay. that off right Come now. On. I believe. That. Holy oh, shit! Another one, maybe? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll okay. Keep, keep it going. <laughs> okay. That's much better. All right. All right. All right. Your foot clips the top as you're starting to leap over, but you're able to recover in such a way that you've leapt over the top of this. That's as far as you're going to get. As you turn your body to the three archers, the three goblinoid archers, you swear with your single good eye that there is another open door and there's at least one more goblin prepared to come through. I'd shout four if I have any time left. Yeah, of course. Of course. Of I, you even get a, I'll even give you a standard action. You can make an attack here if you want to. Yeah, absolutely. Go ahead. Um, sometimes hard for me to tell stuff apart on the battle map. Where I'm pinging, gotcha. this is one, right? Like that's, I'm kind yeah. Of, that's, all right. Let's try to swing at that. And I'm using the Morning Star again. Oh, Whoa. baby. That is going to confirm. <laughs> all right, let's fucking go. All right, my friend. Tell me when to stop. Stop. Choose bludgeoning or piercing. Um, bludgeoning. Got it. Bludgeoning. Staggering blow. It deals normal damage and double non-lethal damage. So your normal damage here is going to be eight. 
and it will deal 16 more in non-lethal. You club him, you bring it down over the top of his head, his helmet smashes, and you swear you hear a bone break in the neck. But he immediately throws the crossbow down and his body goes limp as it falls into the wall. That is your round. Saki. I would yell three. <laughs> um, <laughs> since on my map I can't see Sheel or Serafina, that means I can't see like anything that just happened, right? Correct. You just heard four! <laughs> Three! <laughs> yes, sir, I'm dead. Oh, yes. Yes. I did tell the... him that. I did already. How much tell him did that. Snack see? Oh, I don't know how much I, Snack I, saw. I didn't he didn't, see he didn't say that. I saw Snack die. Snacks yeah, yeah. witnessed the murder, the, the cold blood murder of, of Seraphina. I mean, I thought yeah, he, he didn't, say, he didn't say anything though, like, right? So I don't know that. No, he I saw didn't. That. It's not my turn, I, so I, I can't. I say. went back and I said the witch is down, but that's all. So I could saw. I get to Seraphina and stabilize her? You get shot. I mean, theoretically, you could. Because she's, because that would help her, right? Because it'll it'll stop her. Could from you maybe drag her back fight. in? Like it might be dangerous. You could always maybe try to drag her. That's a really good idea. That's a huge right. idea, actually. All right. I'm going to go in to try and grab her and pull her out. Give me a strength so check. Doesn't... Oh, my God. I'm, I'm not a strong person And here. she's a th she's a thick Betty. <laughs> can I, can I, can I, can I she's a big bird. Or no. Yeah. I'm, like, holding my action. I'm trying I, to grab her. Can I that's, use that's a good. Rule? That's or good. That's you, good. You, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. That's, that's good. You are able to. <laughs> you'll run up and you'll grab Saki and you drag her back. Uh, just into the hallway. So basically, you okay, pull so her I'm coming here. up. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna got her. That's that's good. All right. Yeah, no, Can that's, I do that's anything perfect. else, or that's I'm enough? That's, that's your turn. whole. That's your whole. You gotta got to move, it. and then the standard of of pulling okay. the dead weight of of Serafina. She's she's not a like she's not snacks. Snacks is like okay. forty pounds. Um, Serafina is like two hundred pounds. She's a big bird. Got it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Snacks and Retsu. It's still, it's about to be my turn. If you guys are going to use your actions, now is the time to do it because the, the, the round is going to yeah. end. I don't have right. actions, though. You don't? You... You, held, you held your round. Does that mean I get to move? Uh, well... Yeah, yeah. If you hold your round, you still get your full round. You're just choosing when to react in combat. Oh, okay. okay. I'm, uh, you go first, I, I've then. rounded the corner. Yeah, I'll, I'll round the corner. And okay. then I'll uh, attempt to shoot the little one in the middle. You got it. Take your shot. I don't have any kind of stealth or anything like that, so... That is correct. You do not. Short. It's just click short bow, right? Yep. Okay. So here is... We're actually going to start using... Uh, it's time to introduce these rules. Okay? Coverage okay. rules. I need you to give me a 20% range that you do not want. A 20%, like one through 100? Yeah, out of out of a out of a D100, you gotta give me a 20% okay. range that you do not let's, want. Let's just go uh, 80 to 100. So or it 80 would be 80, to 81 to 100. Yeah. If I roll that, your shot misses because of coverage. Understand. 22. Your shot will hit. It sinks into the shoulder for five. Oh. He still stands. Okay. Retsu. Gonna hug the wall to get past them. Uh, right out here. Okay. Oh, peekaboo. I'd like so to jump. 15, 20, 20. That's 30. You so can I, still range if you have any kind of ranged. I don't have any oh, range. Your range would have to be 20 feet. I can, my range is 15 feet. I can, can I jump from here? Um, it would be your full round. Yeah. That's fine. So you need to succeed. Um, this is the same scenario as last time, but the DC is dropped yeah. by four. So instead of a 22, you need to make an 18. Okay. 18 is okay. even or not. Do you want to <laughs> re-roll it? Or do you want to test the dice? Last re-roll. Okay. Ooh, got it. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. You My last re-roll. <laughs> I'm gonna put you right that on top sucks. of the correlation. You were standing above it. It's not very steady, okay. but with your nimble feet, you're able to stabilize yourself in such a way 
Not many others could not. She also couldn't. But that's your round. Yep. Move you there. And now Take my, my body. Time. Where Shale is standing. Shale has immediately knocked out the one, this one here. This guy is downed. He's not dead. He's unconscious. Two goblins sprint out of the room. Oh, two of them. Okay. Yes. Out of the room? Oh, the Where? other room. Yeah. Shale, you are flanked. What is your AC? Uh, with the shield, I'm 16. What's your flat foot? Flat foot. It says 11, but I don't think that's right because the sheet says 13, and that's not right. Okay. So it says it's two less. It says it's two less than so what So then my your AC is 14. AC. Your AC is 14. Okay. All right. We got it. So one. Got it. Two. Got it. Both are going to, su to succeed. It's going to be a D6 from both of them, plus two. These are goblin warriors. So the first one, second one. Nice. Take 10 points of damage. You realize now that you're surrounded as you take in your rear flanks a longsword, albeit for a goblin. It is a longsword blow. It is a jagged, turgid, rigid blade that comes across your back as it reams down into your like thigh and, and back uh, haunch and flank. It tears away at the armor, at the at the linen of, of your of your clothing, and rips at your flesh. My other goblins, reload. Top of the initiative, Serafina. I need you to give me a number, one to ten. If you get it right, you stabilize. Four. One. Lose three hit points. That's one from the failure of, of dying, and the other two are from the bleed effect. I'm at minus four. Shale, it is your turn. The numbers here are not in your favor. I'm still going to try to swing at one of the archers so that the others can advance. Um, one of them already took damage, right? This. No. To uh, to Ratsu? No, no. It was well, snacks. Attack. It was five. Yeah, cross I hit one from the shoulder. Yes, 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 yes. one. Okay. This goblins are mean. Yes, you're descending deeper and closer into their territory. The stronger they are, the closer they are. Then yeah, the the middle one I want to swing at. Go for it. Make an attack. Which is it flanked? Uh, yes, it is flanked. I should probably re-roll that. Your call. I would like to. So I'm down to two now after this. That is going to hit. It's better. Yeah. Six points of damage. As you bring it down across from us, it's still like holding on to that that arrow shot from Snacks. As it's kind of spun, you use this advantage. You bring your Morning Star down across its face. And as you connect, you hear its body sort of cripple under the blow. It was already a smaller goblin, and you just ruined it under the weight of your morning star it and dies. then instead of uh like making an action a move action am i able to use my action to do like a, my move to do a five feet without provoking lack of opportunity like move here or uh no you okay. you can five foot step without provoking an attack but you can't move that far okay i'm gonna stay put on okay i thought so i thought so it's not really a super bad call um, Saki. What does Saki do? Can you hear me? Okay, I have to switch my headset. Yes, much All more, right, much more yeah, e-girl now. I like it. All right. Okay. Um. So I have Serafina there with me, right? I, for what it's worth, I don't okay. think it's coming through. Okay. I don't. Th your microphone, I, I think is coming through a webcam mic. Oh, okay. So can you barely hear me? Yeah, it's just like you're hollering down the bottom of a can. It's, All right, I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna fix it before my next turn. Um, but I would cast stabilize. Will you now? Uh, does that work on her? Of course, of course it will. Oh God, why are you saying will you now? I need you to roll a <laughs> d1000. 
Uh oh. Oh, no, I know I had that many oh did we hit it? Oh, oh no, I did, did I do it? <laughs> no, you oh, didn't no. do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. No, that it was it was Kurt that did it. Wait, how do I do it? It's it's type? just like normal. It's it's slash R space one D thousand. I hope it's like 1, it's fun anyway. Fully recovers and gets plus two to all stats and can Become fly. An angel. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, two thirty four. Three four. I need you to roll a d ten. Ten. Yep. What is it? R slash R space one D ten. And you got a four. That's great news. That's great news. Now I need you to roll roll a D one hundred. R slash I've never seen this many rolls. Wait, rules. how do I do it again? Slash it's R. Like but, but it's slash R first. Slash R. Just, yeah, it's slash R space 1. 1D100. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's see what, what happens here. All right. Excellent. Well, Saki, uh, as, as luck may have it, your luck may have briefly ran out. Wild magic surges through your stabilize. For the next four rounds, your body is transformed under via polymorph, and you are now a vulture. Oh. You have become a vulture for the next four rounds. <laughs> Better get the semi back in. <laughs> do, I have, do I have any special abilities or anything? I, mean, I let Give me a second. I'll let you know. We're fucked. <laughs> Go for the eyes. Sure. He, he heard one thing breathing, okay? I was gonna burn the house down. <laughs> Alright. Um Yeah, you get you get you get things. I don't think they're great things, but you get them. What happens when you send Widowmaker in to capture the point in Overwatch first, Here, I'm, Mom? I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> over Reinhardt. <laughs> I'm gonna drop this in into the sunless chat so you can actually you can click on it and view it and see exactly what your stats are uh, at least temporarily. With 95 health, no, no, she would be so lucky. It's significantly lower. Uh, okay, all right, cool. Okay, all right. So then good news. My then you, my have, you have you have you have flight right? speed. Yeah. Oh. You'll pick their eyes out. The flight oh, speed. Okay. You fly 50 Max. feet. Snacks. Yep. You're pulling another arrow to begin to launch, right? And you hear Saki commence to cast a spell. You're used to this. Saki has been using spells the entire time. But from the corner of your eye, Saki transforms into a bird. A sizable oh. bird, but a bird. Okay. Yeah. Holy shit, she's a bird. What the <laughs> fuck is going on here? Saki just turned into a bird. Don't care, killing things. Um. Seraphina she can't just, talk. Like, she can't do anything. Saki, oh god damn it! Seraphina's fucked in god, over there. What do you do? Seraphina uh, says. I'm, what Meepo. I'm gonna do is plug my headset in. Let's beg Meepo, Meepo. <laughs> Where the fuck is Meepo? He's in the hallway he's next to you. Yeah, I know. I, I, I he's, he's had time he's to get a little me, better. But Maybe he I... can eke something out for me. It's been like an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah, but he okay. hasn't been can you guys hear me? shot lately. Yes. Okay. Um... Damn it. What do you have, Snacks? I ain't helping her. I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna, I, oh. I, I mean, I, we're in a fight with like a bunch no, of- No, it, it totally makes sense. Like... 
<clears throat> Fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to move here to try and get a clear shot on the uh, dragon. They're was. missing. We're co I'm coming with them. They're no, you, you, ain't you ain't going nowhere. Is she why would, why would you Why would you check through Seraphina's things? Because she I said she had heal kits, right? Yeah, she, she said that she was dead. She's, she's oh. not. You don't. Well, yeah, we don't them, nobody right? knows that. <laughs> no, no. She she is deliberately not spoke of them. So there's no way that you would even know that she has the potions no, 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 to look no, no. for. The, the heal kits. I'm not talking about the potions. Well, I yeah, yeah, you, kits, right? you're aware of the healing there, kit, yes. Does, does Saki have heal kits on her? No. Well, we've already stabilized both people. Oh, is that, are heal kits only used for that? Correct, yes. correct. So oh, oh, that was, oh, okay, 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 use, okay. You used okay, two, I, I thought they were to, like, actually, like, help. So Snacks heal. used two uses of, of the heal kit. Saki used two additional uses of that heal kit. Serafina, how many uses of the heal kit have you already gone through? Of the Four? actual, the ones I'm carrying on my body? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I have eight uses left. Okay, you, have, minus four. you have four uses left now. Oh, they used mine? Okay. Yeah, no, that's, I, yeah, that's I the, yours. Gotcha. That's immediately, like the, as far as I'm aware, that is your only healing kit, unless Karakas had one. Yeah. No, I, so uh, I have four, four uses left. Okay. Well, the bag we found in there only had some rations, and I don't think I don't remember anything about a heal kit from Caracas. We should grab everybody and go she back. She can't move, correct? No, she cannot move. But Shields should... okay to move now? No, Shields unconscious. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why am I? Oh, oh, that's why wait, wait, you, back when you I go. Call, when you were calling that meeting, I'm like, wait, we we can't really go anywhere. Meeting cannon fodder really looks like snacks. Saki and Retsu. Everyone else is unconscious. I mean, we have nothing that uh, Retsu and I don't ha have any healing ability. Well, it's the three of you there. You've gathered. What do you yeah. say? All right, all right. So we're just gonna hang out here. I'm gonna say I. Well, I want. I know we can't sleep, but we should probably just try to tend to their wounds for a while, for a few hours, and make sure they don't take a turn for the worse cook some food and secure the area so that if we if we do make it to night or day or whenever we can sleep then we can but I, mean, we, I don't think we can push good. forward we, we should at least waste time no. or make food and and keep look over their wounds until they're yeah. conscious i agree can can you help me move seraphina over here or is, can someone help me move I, Sarah? I definitely <coughs> will. Yeah, let's let's get her over here. So we can we're gonna rest here don't... then in this area. Well, we're just gonna we're gonna have to watch over them. All right. Uh, well, okay. I can't carry Sheil. No, I know. Well, we're gonna just stay here. Sheil's gonna have to just yeah. No, I don't think any of us can carry Sheil. It would take all three of us to carry. Let's him. Shut this door. And we should not sleep next to the dead goblin bodies. I mean, we can move the Did you want to bodies. investigate that room at all? I, I was going I to, mean, but I'm, not, I'm, I'm trying to figure out right now. I'm not now trying to aggro more shit, though. Well, I mean, the door was wide open, so okay. you can always, like, take a peek in if you're at all curious as to what the room actually is. Peeky peeky? What, what, uh, <laughs> yeah, I want to I wanna take a little peeky peeky. Might be sure, in there. glancing in this room, the, uh, the north and south walls of this chamber are stacked heavily uh, to the ceiling with ill-made barrels, boxes, and crates. You can tell that there is a clear path allowing easy access between the west and eastern doors. Okay. Can I see Retsu, what's in these crates? Could, or... Yeah, do you think you could get, be really quiet, Retsu? Be really quiet. Anything... Sure. You... These crates? You start to... You know, give me a stealth. I wouldn't really like a stealth here. Okay. Very good. Very good. You... How do you access these? Do you, like... Do you, do you have a crowbar? Or do you just kind of, like... Right open with your with your weapon. Mm. Uh got uh flint and steel. Uh I've got a torch I could pry try to pry it with. Um I mean you still can't use your weapon. The the, okay. the, the scythe itself is pry I mean one of which is something used to, to set fire. But... Supposed to use my weapon for that, but I, but if I have you can to. technically take something off of Shale as well. It's not like he's alive or at least alert enough to tell you no. 
Okay, I'll I'll let's see if you have a dagger shield. Yeah, I'll look for a do. dagger. Yeah, you find it easy enough. It's okay. on his belt side. Cool. My dagger now. Going through just a handful of these, <laughs> choosing a variety of these these boxes or crates to look through. Um, you can see that they store they they store some things here. Most of the quality is not very good, admittedly, but there is water, wine, and some food. Again, the quality is low. You can see that they also have five pints of oil in here, along with what looks to be a few small barrels labeled as elf pudding. It's crudely written, definitely written by the goblins. Elf pudding. Can I check the elf pudding out? And give it a sniff, see if there's any meaty bits in there, if it's made out of elves, or if elves made it, or if it's made of them. Yeah. Um, as you kind of pry open one of these just to see what's in it, it is it is a thick, like very thick and viscous material. Uh, it's sort of like a coagulant. Um, you notice even when you tear off the lid, it has a bit of a, like a schlicking noise. So it's sort of uh, like a like a blood pudding, a, uh, like a black pudding of sorts. And you can, what you believe, identify as skin. Close that back up. That's some goblin shit. Okay, well, I'll grab some of the shitty wine. I don't know if I can use that to purify wounds or cleanse. Mm, maybe. S sterilize things since it's alcohol. I don't know if that works. Um, well, there's, I mean, there's some food in there, but I, I wouldn't eat the elf pudding. <laughs> elf pudding? I think it's made out of elves, if I had to guess, but. You said there's food in there? What, like. Yeah, food? yeah, like. Not cooked rat? No, I mean, it's like, not the greatest looking, but it's edible. There's some I mean, cheese. What are, what are we going to. I mean, wine. M any medicine? There's bandages? No medicine. No bandages. What about these goblin bodies? Do they have anything useful on them? Sure. Let me take a look. Let me see what you guys find. Maybe they have shit on them. I don't know. <clears throat> Start rifling through their clothing. Can, can Saki peek back in the room and detect magic in that storeroom? Sure. Of course you can. You, um... And it's not going to take a lot for you to do so. You're, you're pretty okay. subtle about it. It's a very common thing. And there is nothing magical in the room. Right. The longer you stare, the more you are, you, you believe that there there is nothing. Okay. Every time I loot a body, I want to toss it over the wall and make like, more room over here you, for us. You begin looting the bodies, um, <clears throat> and there's nothing here really of notoriety, with an exception to what you believe was the, the lead, or at least acting leader of this small group. Um... And it appears that they have a, a very, like, a beautiful flask. It's a silver flask um, that it seems to embellish some dwarven gods. You aren't immediately familiar with the gods yourself, but you okay. can tell it's something that they didn't make. Something that they probably found or stole. Can I praise it for its that, worth? Yeah, you can try. Go ahead and give me a shot. Let's see what you get. 15. I mean, it's it's silver. You can immediately identify that it's, okay. it's actual silver. That it's not okay, some sort so of bizarre plating. Shit. So it's got some value to it for sure. You probably guess 30 gold, you know, especially if you take it to a dwarf, a dwarf would probably buy it, maybe even higher. Um, is there anything in it? Yeah, yeah, when you when you open it up, there is a vile goblin wine. It smells more rancid and akin to urine than actual wine. I'm gonna pour that out in the fire. Sure. Gross. Nearest, nearest that that dwarven flask. However, you also identify that this goblin had a key very tightly tied to his belt. I'll pill for that. I'm writing these on my gear sheet. Sure. <clears throat> now there are two more doors in this room. Yeah. We, we want can take to, a break um, right here if, if you if you want to if you want to take a quick break maybe like a little bio bathroom break and then come back and hit it. 
Yep. What do you think? Yeah. Sounds good. I would like that. Sounds good. Okay. Oh, you can't see, guys. Sorry. So bad. Well, guys, we're going to take a quick little there break. It's going to be like a, a three to five minute. Got to run to the bathroom and all that jazz. Grab some more water. Uh, toss some room. trash. And when we come back, we'll see if they actually survive this. Yeah. So see you oh. in a minute. Oh, yeah, I got to take a shower. All right. Well, we're back. It's good news. Good news, guys. Um, people are still alive. We like this. We like it when people are still alive. We don't like it when people die. And with any luck, we won't have much more in the way of death. At least, that's what we're hoping for. So, we're still deep in the Sunless Citadel. I need to know what your immediate time looks like. What what do things look like going forward? Snacks, Retsu, and Saki, you three are alert, alive. You're aware that your allies, while downed, they're gonna need rest. Shale looks to be in a bit better condition, but looking over at Serafina, color has completely left her face. She looks more akin to a corpse than she ever has previously. She lost a lot of blood. So what do you guys do? I mean, and there's not a lot that I can do with snacks uh, other than just watch over and hope, hope for the best that we don't get attacked again. Would it I'm help gonna... to clean her wounds with soap and water? It's probably not a horrible idea. Gonna say, if we're going to stay here, we need to be quiet. Use? We need to be Absolutely. talk quietly. Or we're just going to keep attracting more attention to us. And I think we need to wait for Serafina to be in a better state. Yeah, we should cook up some of this food and then watch everybody's wounds, tend to them. And then when we're tired, try to get some sleep. But okay, maybe we should check this door above us first. There are two doors. There's a door to the north and a lower door to the west. You want me to check the doors for traps, Retsu? Yeah, you might as well. I'll check the uh, top one here. Just okay. Quietly. Sure. Give me a roll. Let's see what you get. I have no more re-rolls, so whatever I get is what I get. 13. Mm. Looks good. Do I get... Like, <laughs> is Trap Sense just a passive Trap Sense is... It's, just... it's, it's a passive. It adds to your okay. perception check. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So rolled a 5. Great. Okay. Um, do you want me to check the bottom door as well? Yeah, check the other door too. Okay. These if they're trapped, no that's probably here. better if we're going to rest here. Because then yeah, they're going to make noise undoing a trap to come through. <clears throat> this door oh. itself, uh, as you move up to it, you start your initial investigation and... I, for some reason, you don't believe this door is trapped because it doesn't make a lot of sense to have a door that's trapped that's also locked. This door has, has a unique locking mechanism on it. It takes a very particular kind of key from what you can tell. Okay, I'm going to be quiet and I'm going to come back over to Retsu and just let him know that, or let these both of them know that this door, the bottom door is locked. Oh, I have a key. Let's just uh, leave it locked, though, if it's locked. Yeah. I for now. Just keep it locked. Until we're done resting. Well, bear in mind, right? Give me I, this. I feel like this is this is going to be some wisdom here. This is a this is a, a situation for remembrance. You know what? I'll even leave it to intellect. Um, <laughs> click your intelligence, the three of you. 
let's see what you get here. Me too. See, it's really good. Yeah. Very good for me. No. Now you know that you're underground. Additionally, locked doors oh. tend to not have uh, exits. Okay. There's not going to be another way in there. Whereas in where you currently stand, there are four ways into this room. Yeah, okay. Well, everybody, um, you know, in, in underground dungeons, locked doors tend to not have exits. So it might be better to open this door and then lock it with the key and rest in here instead. We'd have less areas around us that could get penetrated. I mean, if you would like to check that room. And I'm going to slip the key in as I say that. Like a glove. You turn and you can hear the mechanism itself click inside the door and then the handle grows limp. Whatever was holding it in place was okay. also locking the door handle. Bloop. Oh, this looks lovely. Oh, that's a pretty room. Oh my god, there's a downed kobold in there. There is, in fact. What you can see in here, squalor reigns in this low ceilinged room. A large iron spike is driven into the floor nearest the door and a small iron cage set in the furthest back. Several sets of corroded manacles are connected to the walls, and some still bind a few crumbling skeletons. You can determine that there are, there were, in fact, at some point, bound kobolds. One, immediately, ste still seems alive. Something moves in the rear cage, all the way to the west wall. Hello? Don't, no need for alarm. I'm here to save you all. I am your savior. The kobolds, the kobold doesn't say anything. But from the rear side of the room, you hear, Hello? Hello? This... Um, and you might be. My name is John. Do you move up closer to the cage? I would, I mean, I would, I'd, I'd like to per look around from where I'm at before I commit to getting closer. Sure, give me a perception. Back. You see, for all intents and purposes, a gnome. A gnome that has been, <laughs> that has been caged. <laughs> hey, little friend. What are you doing here? Oh, you know, just vacationing. Do I see this thing? You get... Well, you walked in, didn't you? <laughs> What's your name? John. Mm, you don't look like a John. <laughs> That's... That, I mean, you can't prove that. You're His right, name's I can't. John. What's your name? Erky. Erky? Erky? Okay, fine, I'm Retsu. Well, hello, Retsu. That seems more likely. Name's Erky. Why are you down here? Oh, as you said, you know, I was I was adventuring and I found this sweet vacation spot. One where I was captured. Okay. You got caught, but... Goblins. What were you looking for down here? What are you doing down here? Uh, I wasn't exactly here because I wanted to be here. I was taken here. I was... Well, a month passed. I was on my way back, seeking fortune, and took to the old road. Well, my bad luck. That the goblin bandits caught me, and I've been here ever since. Me died. These uh, blessings have kept me healthy, of course. But otherwise, I'm sure I'd died from starvation and abuse. Okay. Are you um? What do you have a profession? Are you a, are you a fighter? Are you a wizard? Do you have a profession? I must have missed that part where I said my deities kept me alive. Ah. So you're the religious I've been, type. I I've been stuck here for months. They didn't bring me any food. They expected me to die, but well, I can create water and I can create food as well. Okay, well, 
We murdered all of your captors. Well, blessed day. Can you free me? I do have a key. I don't know if it's for your lock, though. I have never seen a key uh, to this lock. You might have to bust it. I'm sure there's someone, uh, perhaps, that might be a bit bigger than you, who can uh, uh, yeah. apply some force. He's unconscious. Two I'd of my party this. members went unconscious during the fight. That's that's not that's not good. I did hear something on the other side. Why does it always have to be a gnome? Why does it always have to be a kobold? God damn it! Just leave him in there, please. Max, we need all the help we can get right now. I don't want to hear your racism from either of you. Of our party. Hey, I no racism going? here. I don't care. I just want out. I know you don't like gnome snacks, but I I know you don't like dying either. So which is it going to be? He, he seems to lean in uh, closer to you. He actually eats gnomes. He eats gnome snacks. How do you make gnome snacks? No, his name is Snacks. The only thing he doesn't eat is, is a gnome, so you're good. He said that oh. multiple times. Bless but he is me. He's also mentioned how he hates gnomes. So hey, I'm not particularly fond of, uh, of those lizard skins myself. See, that sounds racist to me, Erky. Well, they're mean to me. Well, they are mean little bastards, that's true. But it's true. there's something charming about that. Listen, I'm, I'm willing to let bygones be bygones. I don't care. Just let me out. I'll kiss your feet if I have to. Please, just let me I'll, out. I'll try to get you out if you can try to... Wait, 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 Retsu, what benefit is there to us? I'm, that's, that's what I'm getting don't at. Just let him out. Don't that, yeah, I'll, you, you think I'm gonna, you think I'm just gonna do something nice for somebody, Saki, without getting something in return? Oh, you should know me better than that. I, apparently, my, my heroes, my would-be heroes are actually the baddies. That's great. I no, am definitely not do. nice either, so I would not piss me off. Because you're in a cage and I'm not. Tell you what. Stop being a right dick. Free me. And I'll heal your friends. Excuse me if I'm not in the best mood. I got stabbed in the chest about 30 minutes ago. Oh, so, well, I mean, you could be kept in a cage for 90 days. That's nothing. Okay, I've been, switch I've been, me places. I've been waterboarded for 90 days, bud. Okay? That's horrible. And you're it just a awful. boy. I'm 52. Fucking hell's they the age so weirdly. Listen, you let me out or not? I'm just here to help. I if can you let me help. I will try to let you out if you can help my companions. If you can watch over them. For you said you said you're religious. Do you have the ability to heal? Do you? Do you I do. All right, then. That's all I need to to know. That's what that's what I said. Can't he cast his magic from inside of the box? Can you shut your whorish mouth? Oh my goodness. What kind of deals do you with you? Have? I'm talking about. You don't have to heal him. I don't know if we can. The other him. two aren't kobolds. I'm I'm making deals with you right now, Mister uh, Mister Retsu. Right. I could try to sense his motive. If any of you are particularly. I will sense his motive for sure. That is that is above board as f that that is. <laughs> you know what? You go right ahead. <laughs> Unconscious members totally supplanting ideas. Yeah, my favorite. that's true. Look, Don't I, backseat, I, motherfucker. I, <laughs> look, you know I what? I'm not sensing his motive. For a long time, all right. I, I trust him implicitly. <laughs> I fucking love gnomes. All right. <laughs> Carry one in my pocket with me. It's a big pocket. Um, <laughs> just from the other room. <laughs> Fucking don't trust him. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I wasn't even pretending to do it in character. Right? It's just uh, like you know, you can do that, right, people? Like, I, I mean, I, I don't know. know. His motives. Can I try to attack the lock to break it? With yeah, of my, course you can. With my yeah. bludgeoning, it's 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 pretty crude. Um, but yeah, go ahead and make an attack. All right, Mister Erky, get to the back of the cage. I'd hate for some shrapnel to fly off and knock your teeth out or something. He pushes himself back to the to the rear side of the cage, which there's not a lot of room. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> this would be easier if we had our warrior, our fighter with us, but you know what? Boo! Oh, fuck. A crit. That's a critical. 
That is a critical. You know what? I'm I'm gonna say that with with the the hammer end of your Kusarigama, you're able to just with a single like wind and whip, you strike down and it snaps this rusted lock right off the cage. You make short work of that. I promise not to be on your bad side. Look, Erky. I like to kill things. I'm gonna be honest with you. That's all right. I don't have a problem with that, especially if you target the goblins. I will. I, I feel like you and need, we need an understanding here. If you stab us in the back and you don't finish me off, I will hunt you to the ends of the earth. But I think you just need to take a look at my situation here. You're doing great. You're doing great, Erky. You're doing great. I don't. I don't even have. I barely have clothes on my body. I, do, I can. I, I don't. We'll hook you up, Erky. We got some goblin loins. I. I cloths. would not. I would not. All right. Well, then you can be naked. That's fine. It's but than having goblin bits. If we're gonna get out of here, we need to work together. I will say. I have a couple of kobolds with us. We're looking for a dragon. By the way, did you he did, did you hear these goblins talking about any maybe baby dragons? Or we're also looking for a group of um well, I guess it's three of them now. A paladin and then two uh younger uh, uh adults. No, and that you said that. I I can remember that they were saying something about people. Ah, uh, the, the goblins are hard to understand. They said that they caught three people nigh a few weeks ago, maybe maybe a month. I don't know. Time is is different when you're stuck in a cage. Uh, and they were they were captives in here with me for a while. They there were there was a couple of boys and 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 a lass, um, a Talgan. There was a a short one and 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 a real pompous one. They called himself Sir Bradford. Right, that's who we're looking for. Aye. Yeah, uh, the goblins kept them in here only about a week before they removed them. And uh, they said that Balak wanted them. And that's the last I heard about that. Ball? Balak? Balak. 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 <laughs> Aye, he's... Well, based, based on Based on what you... Well, based on what I've heard. The one who leads the goblins, it goes by Balak. Great name, that is. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and show wonderful. to you guys what what Erky looks like. This is a Mr. Erky Timbers. <clears throat> looks like a piece of shit. <laughs> that is a little... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, leave his ass in the cage. <laughs> Look at him, chat. Steal his trinket. <laughs> oh, I should have that sliced him through good. the cage. That's fine. There's other people around. I can't be doing that kind of stuff. Yeah, you can. I would have <laughs> Snacks is like, yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah, Saki's here, though. It's fine. Okay. Hey, well, what, did you come down here for the people? Or, or what do you be honest with me now? Now that you freed me, of course. Did you Did you come down here for the fruit? Um, well, Erky, we, we have heard of the fruit. But, I mean, we obviously, we're going to be curious about it. We don't know how it works, where it comes from. But we were commissioned uh, by the parents of the two young adults there to come and find them dead or alive and to retrieve their, their rings um, as proof. The fruit seems secondary in nature. There, we have no task to, to get that, but, you Even know. Then, if... You know, I have my thoughts about it. I have a lot of time to myself in here, and you'd be surprised where a wandering mind goes from time to time. Now, you know there's two of them, right? There's the midsummer fruit, and then there's the winter fruit. I know, I want the winter one, but everybody keeps telling me it's not winter. You're right, that's how seasons work. So it only well, it only spawns in the winter. Aye, aye. Didn't this guy say he was going to heal our friends? The midsummer fruit... Snacks? It's, it's We're about... getting information. It's, it's, it's about vitality, you see. It's, and those who eat it, they, they, they recover uh, from, from vast sickness. And the winter fruit, it steals the same. But Balak, he tells the goblins to sell the fruit on the surface. Why not keep it for yourself? What's Some the kind of strange negative. Maybe there's a negative that we don't know. Some sort of negative impact. Or maybe it doesn't work on goblins. Maybe it only works on... 
other people? I don't know. That's a good question. See, my thought? Since I've been down here, I've seen some of them trees move. They're walking around with the goblins, and... Well, it's right creepy, if you ask me. But why are they walking with the goblins? And where are they coming from? Trees like the one we saw up top, do you think, Snacks and Saki? There's these little evil fucking bushes. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Okay. Yeah, I almost lost oh, my goddamn Oh, we remember arm those. those. They're in cahoots? They're walking around with them and not attacking them. Weird. I don't like that. Maybe, hmm. Maybe they offer some sort of patronage to the trees. They've got to answer to Belak. That's that's my that's my guess. If I had to, if I had to, put a view on, it's, it's probably that. You know, I, I've I've heard the goblins. They were talking about this place called the uh, what they call it, the the grove, the uh, the twilight grove. Uh, they say it's down below, and Balak is a uh, well. I suspect he's a, he's a spellcaster of sorts. I think he's tending to some sort of uh, enchanted garden, and he harvests the fruits. I did hear them say something very ominous. I don't know what it means, though. They called. They said something to the effect of the Galthias tree. A tree down here? That's what I said. There's so much stone, it didn't make sense. There's no sun. How's it plant to grow in the dark? I don't know. But I can tell you this. When they spoke of it, they they did so in hushed whispers. They, they're afraid as much as anyone else in them be. Sounds like we need to find this ball act if we're going to have our questions answered. I don't know About... if there's value in that. I'd be careful. But it's your life. Lead it the way you wish. Well, I mean, if they've taken the three that we're looking for hostage or killed them doesn't seem like we have much of a choice and they stole the kobolds dragons dragon oh, i heard about that there was something a couple of days ago they were saying something about they stole the the, the white wind yeah yeah i don't know what's that though these are some sneaky goblins i know a lot all right, well, I, f I opened the cage. Can you take a look at our friends and see if there's anything you can do for them? We're, we're trying to get some food together, tend to their wounds I, until I, we can fall asleep. Yeah, and he, like, he starts to pull himself from the cage, and you can hear his bones creak and pop, and he lets out these, like, whinnied moans. Oh, oh, oh. What about this That's... one over here, Erky? Oh, is he still alive? I think he's breathing. So I was just gonna check. Well, you should free him and send him back to his, his tribe. See, that gnome is nice, Nax. He doesn't want to kill your, your kobold brethren. He says, send him back. I was just gonna kill him. Leave the kobold alone. Well, if I leave him alone, he's gonna stay chained here and I die anyway. Take care of him. All right, all right, all right, all right. Must admit, all right, I don't Erky. know what that means. And I, I don't, don't either. Rightly care anymore. Stocky, you know about healing. You keep an eye on Erky and see if you can help him. I'll do what I can. Why, that's a right mess. What did you? D well, I suppose that was the signs of combat. I've got some. Well, yeah, I'm gonna take. I forgot to take their ears. You don't want me to heal them, then. There's someone else. No, oh, yeah. over the wall. You're, you're. I know you're short. You can't probably see over the wall. No offense. He, he walks first. up and he kind of like hops a couple of times. Yep. Uh, yep. There they are. He hoists himself up and throws his body over. There is a, a like an audible splash of his body on the opposite side. Before he picks himself back up. Well, you're in the rough way, aren't you? Oh, they got messed up pretty bad. Yeah. Nasty. I'm gonna start trophying their ears while he's doing that. I'm, I'm, I'm making a, a a chain of ears, like a necklace, goblin ears. Of course. 
That way I can intimidate them later by showing how many of their kind I've slain. Okay. He <laughs> begins to channel divinity. Good job, Erky. I don't know what that is, but you're doing great. He places his hands on the body first of Seraphina, and he begins to channel divinity. He's calling forth blessings from gnomish gods, anyone that is willing to listen. No wild magic. We were nine subs short of wild magic, guys. Plus, that's divine magic. Heal 12. Seraphina. Let's go. How are you looking right now? You're muted. You're muted. I'm positive now. That's good news. Hey. That's good yeah. news. That's, my dogs are barking. That's why I'm mute. Saki, you can see the color begin to return to her face. <clears throat> it's slow at first as he continues to to finish his divine rite and ritual. And as he finishes, he says, that looks better, but it's not this yet. That is, that's a great start. So thankful. Thank you. Would you like me to, to try again? I don't have many more of these, at least in this level of potence. Maybe on <laughs> him. On him. All right. Very well, then on him. And he turns and you hear the same mutterances under his breath calling forth for a grace of divinity on high, wishing for the best. And this goes to Sheil. Heal 15, Sheil. Fuck. Wow. Yes. Wow. Thank you, Tyrannosaurus, yes, that's, for the 10 gifted subs. That's that, at, at, at that potency. I've got a few more in the bag, but they're not going to be as strong. My uh, connection it dwindles. That's perfect, Erky. No, Thank if you, you. could heal the witch one more time, why not? I, I'll i try, I'll try. But I, try. I, I'll need to find my way out, or at least to find uh, in, into um, a totem or... Uh, oh, you'll a, be great, you'll be good, you'll be fine. He has a I name, I, Saki. It's it's true, Saki, I do. No, I was talking about she called her the witch instead of Seraphina. Our oh, group Seraphina, member. he doesn't know who she is. Seraphina, I, this It's true, witch I don't, here. I don't, you're, uh, it's a lovely Our name. beloved Seraphina. Heal 10, Seraphina. Damn, she's Seraphina's juiced. Gone. Wow, no. Oh awesome. my gosh, thank you. <laughs> she's, she's an Aurora Borealis. Nice. I have one more lifeline that I could pour out, but it's not going to be much more. I'll need the rest, and then I'll have to consult with my gods. What is it? What, what exactly can you do here? I'm a cleric, love. The same thing. This is what I've been doing. You've not seen a cleric. You live under a rock. I oh, know we we have. I think we've all seen clerics. Meepo's cleric. Yeah, what happened to our cleric? By the way, we need to heal our cleric, Meepo. I don't. So you have, wait. You have a little something left. Wait, you guys. Where is Meepo? Meepo was left in the previous room. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, no. she because Shield's unconscious. Yeah. Oh, lost track, of little fellow. I'll leave. The, you know, Snack Should said he'd take care of the kobolds. So I'm not. Can get Dead weight, if you ask me. He he looks to you. Is there someone else? Someone else that's there, in a rough way. There it's is. Kobold. And he's gonna help us with the dragon, and we don't want to upset his mom. Are you sure your magic you heals kobolds? Why would it discriminate? I don't know. Something about. Snacks is always yelling about how gnomes killed their gods or something. I don't know. That's that's patently false. None of that happened. Why would we do that? We're a peaceful folk. We like to live and let live, and we really like to eat a fair amount. That does that sound like someone who got out of their way to kill uh, lizard gods? I don't know. I don't want to get in, involved with that. I'm not a religious Sounds person. Like we need to make a call as a team if we Finny. want to get Meepo healed up, or if we want to abandon him. If there's anything I worship, it's death. You should probably go outside and let grass touch your feet a bit more, because there's a lot more than 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 death in life. 
You I mean, that's pretty much life. it. That's the both sides of the coin. If you think about it, yin yang, de life, know. death. There's a lot more than that, though. I, I mean, what makes death so grand? If it's not for fine women, and fine food, and fine wine. Girls are kind of gross, to be honest. Oh, you're at that age. Right. I mean, they're okay. Well, um, I didn't quite catch your name, pretty lady. Saki. <laughs> that boy there. Um. Man child, you mean? Sharp. Man, yes. He's certainly very sharp. If you need me to, to use the last of my healing for, for now, just take me to this person. Let's go. He waits for you to get over the wall, and then he does one of these, like, come on, help help me up over, please. Uppies. Uppies, come on. <laughs> you help him over, and he uh, he kind of brushes himself off. Feels good to walk again. Now, where are we going? We have to go this way. Wait, where is... Where is Meepo? All the way back here? He's in the other room. I, I don't know. You'll have to wait, leave me. In which, which room? Which which? How far away did we leave him? I, I, I'm not sure. Y'all just... Max, where, where did we leave him? She feels unconscious. He's the only one that knew where he was. Well, it can't be far. It's just... Oh, oh, oh. I, I see him. Okay. I don't want to be too loud in here. All right. There he is. Oh, uh, this... That was quite ill. Done all I can. Well, I'm... He's rather sick. Under some some form of portent. Yeah, let... Let me give the last of what I've got. Are you sure? He is... After all, he is, he is a kobold. And he does besmirch the name of all gnomes. Are you sure? Yes, please. Okay. Well, if it comes back to bite you, it's he not from all Erke. Alright, well, anyone that can save you is a friend of mine. He will heal eight. He's also going to cast another spell. This time he summons forth a new bout of divine energy. It seems like the words begin to twist and unfurl, and you watch as his, as his hands move over the body of Meepo. And as his hands pass over, you can see it's almost drawing the 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 fluid not quite like it's it's pulling forth the fluid from his body but it's drawing the sweat off of his person and you can see what seeps out from meepo's skin is this sickly yellow and green fluid this mucus like bile that as he pulls out he goes hi he's rather sick this poor lad and as he moves it to the side he just kind of splashes it onto the to, to the floor nearest him meepo looks leaps and bounds better he is still asleep he is still asleep, but you can tell that his fever has fallen. The color has returned to his skin. It no longer looks like cracked paper. I've done my part. What Thank you, just you so much for your help. Oh, yeah. well, that's amazing. I, we really thought he was done for. Thank you. Whatever we can do to repay you. Did you find him? I we've I, I we've we found him. I, Look at him. I'd rather not. It's only seems to be, Meepo. Seems to be a bit better off. I'll drag him into the room with the feel, others. Buddy? Meepo is still weaving in and out of unconsciousness. I'm gonna drag him Ooh. into the room with the others. I suppose you haven't a way for me to escape now. Uh, no, we're kind of trapped down here ourselves right now. We're still looking for a way out. You're welcome to come with us. I mean, you know. Oh, you're such a pleasant lot so far. I, it, it's it's just like a holiday getaway. Hey, you could still be in that cage right now, buddy. It's true, and your friends could all still be dying. That's, you know, that's, that's the nice. attrition of war. 
Not quite the words I would use. Luck of the draw and all that. But I suppose you don't have a problem with me trying to leave. I've been down here long enough. I don't care what you do now. I appreciate you. I'm going to guess since you've came this far that you have also dealt with all the goblins pre hence. And rats, yeah. yep. And rats. And traps. Aye. There's Good. still a lot of kobolds left. We didn't kill any kobolds. It's fine. It's fine. You said your name was Retsu, and you were with Meepo. I will yep. express if I am found that I saved Meepo's life. Exactly. Perfect. Sure. Do you want some gold for your help? No. Wow, Retsu. No, I just want to be free. That's all. Consider all right. favor is all. It's, a, it's solid. We're square. Paid off. Good luck. All right. Well, then, uh, hope you have better luck finding your way out than, than we've had so far. Erky leaves. Retsu, pick me. Retsu, grab Meepo. He's I'm fine. trying. I pick him up. I don't have access to his token, Soggy. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. No, like out of there, you go. Like you got out of character, someone else should probably take a turn. I, it's hard for me to see his token oh, reliably. Can, that's weird. I can wiggle him around, but I can't actually move him. Oh, there it goes. You just I'm gonna say you just moved him. Okay, cool. Put him by can the I fire have... to warm up. Snacks. Jeez wake this kobold up here? Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to see to you here. Snacks, you have managed to find this kobold. Um, he's malnourished. Uh, he has been beaten. The abuse that he's he's undergone is vast. He's awake. I'm not actually in the room. I'm just for chat. Okay. I mean, I don't have anything to give him, but... Hey! Get up! There's a clear path back to the clan shouldn't have any trouble getting back there. I know you are sore and worn down, but this is your chance to get out of here now. Very, very weakly, he pushes himself to his feet, and he starts to fall to his knees, but he reaches out and sort of holds on to you to steady himself. Do you let him, or do you force him to fall? No, he can, he can hold on to me. He, he asks, what's your name? My name is Snacks. Are you here with family? No, no family in here. He nods and he seems to reach over and he finds what looks to be like a, a twisted, rotted piece of wood. And it's probably a foot, foot and a half tall. And he uses it to continue pushing himself back up. And he starts to use it as sort of like a very, very thin, uh, walking uh, stick. It takes him a while. He's moving very, very slowly. But he leaves. Are you hungry? He leaves. No, not hungry. Okay, I was going to say, you can eat some goblins that are out there if you want. <laughs> Alright. I just wanted to make sure he got back safe. Who knows? He's probably going to die on his way. Woo! You tired, Retsu? Um, not yet. I could probably cook and maybe, I don't know, whatever to pass time until sleep time, but it seems like uh, we got everybody, all the wounded, together, and little man Erky did his magic, and uh, they he, seem to be looking better, at least. His, followed through with his promise, did he? Yeah, and then he took off. I let him leave. Saki go into the He's gonna just food. walk right by all of George those room. Cold Yeah, you, you can you can over here go, you can you can walk. I want to like quietly that. walk into the food storage room and grab some items. Sure, give me a stealth. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> a five. Oh my nice. God. Well, luckily. 
there isn't much in the way. It's not like you you suddenly grab an iron pot and you just start brass knuckling it repeatedly to alert anybody. You just you're trying to move. There's nothing on you that's particularly loud. But every attempt for you to cover up your footfall, you stumble. You stagger. You seem to be knocking things down. I'm gonna give. I have to give him a chance to hear it. And I rolled a lot tonight. Holy. <laughs> They're gonna have a, you know, like, don't be surprised at the number. It's not gonna necessarily mean anything, but they get a chance to hear. Or I suck. <laughs> or I suck. They don't hear anything anyway. Great. So far as you can tell. What do you grab while you're in here? What is there that I can see? Do I need to roll like perception or something to get a no. better? Okay. It's a lot of a lot of what was previously described. There's a lot of vegetables that are midway through rot. There's a series of of what looks to be uh, barrels that say elf pudding. Uh, no there elf is... pudding. I'm not taking any elf pudding. Water is sort of gray. I don't. Um, I'm not going to mess with the water. The wine is kind of foul, but you believe that it's it's wine. Okay, we'll take a little bit of wine. <laughs> And then a little bit of the vegetables. Sure. Is there any like dried meats or anything like that? Nope. But you are able to cobble enough right. vegetables that you believe that if you boil them down, despite the rot, you can probably manage a semblance of a meal. Are there any pots or pans or anything sure. like that? Sure. Yeah. I'll say that you can find a cooking pot. It's crude. Perfect. All right. Probably going to have a little extra flavor. You know, they haven't washed it in 12 decades, but, you know, Perfect. that's okay. Extra sauce flavor. Okay. All right. I'm getting that stuff and I'm going back out so I can try and make Saki, something. Saki, what here. the fuck? Why are you in that room? You're supposed to be I, quiet. I thought you guys were hungry. Yeah. And I brought the stuff out already. I brought some stuff oh, out. Oh, you got stuff? Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. Let's see. She I still went comes in out with, tired. with more vegetables. Um, what? How, how do you boil this down unless you take that water? If we're gonna stay here, I, we have to be quiet. I'm gonna create water. Do I have to roll that spell? Into you... the pot that I just... Oh. Yeah, you do. Give me a D1000. <laughs> this this is from the school of What am I putting in? R? R? D1000. Slash R. Slash R. Space 1D1000. This is the school of conjuration. I'm glad I'm behind a wall right now. But just a hates. flat... 38. Okay, let's see what we got here. I hope you levitate two inches off the ground instead of walking or some st stupid. <laughs> this is actually very, very mild. Roll 2d6s. Uh, can I just hit this over here? Yep, hit it twice. Work? Five and a one. Whoa. Oh, shit. What the hell? <laughs> Just smashing D6s left and right. Okay. Uh, you rolled, it looks like a five and a one. Okay. Saki, you have permanently changed something about yourself. Permanently? Permanently. You have no idea what's happened. Your spell fizzles. Nothing nothing bad happens. No vulture, no surprise flame strike. A magma tornado doesn't erupt from the cooking pot. Would you like to try again? Try again for what? To create water. After that just happened? You have no idea that anything even happened. Yeah, I'm gonna try to make water again. Sure the hell first time seems to fail and fizzle the second time you begin to create water it falls from your hands like a small waterfall directly into the pot I'm strange this place is strange it commands magic in a very different kind of way do you say anything do you do anything or do you just fill this pot 
Uh, I might have said something to Serafina, but is she still kind of out of it? Yeah. All right. Then, I mean, I'm just going to do it. Saki's just going to do it. Can I get she a perception, please, herself. from Snacks and from Retsu? <coughs> Saki's going to turn and grab some of the vegetables that you brought. Yeah. And I want to see if you guys are able to pick up on this detail. <laughs> Retsu, yes. It's difficult because it's something very small, extremely subtle. Saki turns and she begins to look for the vegetables that you've brought and the vegetables that she's managed to pick up. And you have to double take because you're not sure you're seeing what, what's happened, but Saki has managed to change her eye color. <laughs> Whatever her eye color was previously, it's certainly not what it is now because now Saki has one gray eye and one oh. yellow eye. <laughs> yellow? A jaundice eye? Smoker's eye? You can come uh, in with this snake eye. <laughs> Turn in more right. into a snake. Your eyes are all fucked up, Saki. Huh? Your eyes are fucked up. They're different colors. You know, you've said a lot of mean things, Retsu, but that's... You, you know. have a gray eye and a yellow eye. I don't know what you did. <laughs> Saki, before I mean, you add the vegetables into the, the pot, there is still a stillness because the flame went out courtesy of, of Retsu dumping some fluid into the fire. It wasn't a very tall fire as is, but it was enough. You glance down and with the right little bit of light and torchlight that you have, it's correct to assume that you do in fact have one eye that is gray and one that is yellow like a snake's eye. I want to get out of here. <laughs> yeah. What, yeah. Is, what is happening? Where did that come from? I don't even remember how we know. got here in the first place. Oh my gosh. Well, now we really need to find that fruit so I can heal whatever this is. We're not using the fruit for your eye color, Saki. What if I don't know if that would happens. even help. It can't just be the eye color. Come on. I'm, I'm just going to keep that to myself next time. If you grow, like, an extra nipple on your face or something, I'm, I'm just not even going to tell you next time. <laughs> Say anything. I'm not going to have you waste some you know, fruits. You know, don't ask, don't tell. Don't, you don't have to say anything. Right, make us some so. food. I'm going to color on Shield's face while he's sleeping. Okay. Here Can I get rotten vegetables. I, I would like, I would like from, from you guys, because of the nature of the situation and the location that you are in the dungeon, I'm going to need two stealth checks from each of you. I'm like a fucking ghost, and Snacks is like the ghost of my ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Retsu with a 23 and a 19, Saki with a 19 and a 16, and Snacks with a 15 and then a 29. Ooh, Those are insane. sort of insane rolls. Serafina. Yes. I need from you a 15% chance that you do not want. So choose 15% out of 100. So you choose like 86 to 100, 1 to 15. Your call Okay. Here. Uh, well, how about 2 to 16? 2 to 16. That's easy. You have zero challenges for the next eight hours. Yay. I draw clown makeup on Shield's face. With um I'm gonna well it's, it's not yeah, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a charcoal <laughs> stick, like a burnt stick, and it's just gonna be like a black big smiley face, like on his Got it. Like nobody tell him. Snacks. Shh, don't tell him about it. If, See how long if you were unconscious. When you awaken, you will have access to your third level abilities. Additionally, while you are unconscious, you will gain your constitution score to your hit points. That should put you both to full, if not very close. So, okay. So I go ahead and change that now because we're resting, correct? Yeah. Okay. You two are. The other three are on high fucking alert. <laughs> yeah. We ain't sleeping. I didn't mean to. That was a good appraise. It's a great Ooh, appraise. Sorry, yeah. I, I was trying to 
out, get out clicked out of something. Okay. This is as good a spot as it's going to be to round out tonight's session. If you go much further, you have one of two paths, both of which lead to encounters. It's going to get harder. You're going to have to turn on your strategy brain. I believe in you, but things are going to get more difficult. That being said, two of you have had the refresher. The other three of you will need to get rest at some point. Not sure when, but you're probably nearing on being tired. And we will address this next week. Okay. The trauma, the trauma in everybody's face. <laughs> uh, I was a vulture. Now I've got a gray eye. I got a sore hip, but I'm pretty good. My group's yeah. giving me the trauma, not the goblins. <laughs> Fuck. I got the rest I was trying to get from when we started today. Full rest, <laughs> maple All right, up. we're gonna run it on three shield. One, two. There goes Serafina. Just. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, wait, what? One, uh, was, two, zoom. <laughs> very Leroy Jenkins. I loved it. She's it was great. Leroy. Perfect. You guys survived another difficult <laughs> encounter. Yay. Told you we were going to fight devils. You didn't believe me. As I said, uh, as I said, these encounters, I'm going to start removing the kid gloves and running rules as standard. I get the number, okay? That was pretty... You know, that you was had great. Like eight attempts. No. Yep. <laughs> yeah, but but you got it. That's so Saved hard. Yourself. Do yeah, you we're do lucky. it in eight tries? Eight tries. Yeah, I mean, Fuck. a ten percent chance. It's just not likely. But thank you guys for watching for for keeping this this show alive. The uh, the luck rolls really kind of keep this thing moving forward. Um, also, yep. the wild magic is fun. Uh, it just was really unlucky for Saki today. <laughs> yeah. Um, normally it's Serafina. This time it was Saki. These things happen. It's welcome to welcome to to D and D to tabletop games. It's, Thanks it's for being a part of our our game, everybody. We appreciate it. Appreciate Thanks, the support guys. so that we can play Thank too. Thank you. Thank you. So Keeping Bye. us alive. All right. Oh yeah. And Thursday or sorry Monday, we're gonna be over on Bub's channel playing with yes with uh, Frost Prime, Ben Briggs, uh, Miss Magitech, Margaret Crone. Bub's DMing. It's a lot of fun there as well. I'm a, I'm a crazy, mad, insane wizard, so you can get Bub's to follow and uh, come join us over there for some shenanigans. It's a whole different yeah. type of game over there than this oh, yeah. one as well. I just introduced our first legendary creature. Yeah, actual legendary monster mob. So should be interesting to see how they tackle the session. I'm also high off of Frost Prime's frog juices. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's true. It's either opiates or frog juice. <laughs> That's, they keep me drugged up, man. They do. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we'll, we'll see you guys next time. Good night, everybody. Ladies, hey, everybody. Good night. Bye. Bye. Thank you.